These beautiful beach huts. Sadly, we arrived too early, so all the rides were closed. It was hard looking at all these rides without getting to go on them. Wowza, that is a lot of beach huts. The pier was a bit rickety, so I was a bit scared running on it. Okay, I'll admit, I was super, super, super terrified. Since the attractions on the pier were closed, we went on a walk around the town. There were lots of things to see. There was a really big selection of shops and a really good sweet shop. We visited this beautiful church to say a prayer. I love this, what this person has done with their front garden. The tide was in for a lot of our visit, but we found a small stretch of sand. I'll definitely come to walk on the Nays again. It's so beautiful. It was the first time that me and Elsie had been to Plankton on Sea. We stayed at number one Greyfriars. It was virtually opposite the pier. You could hear the fun fair rides from our living room. The apartment was decorated beautifully. I loved the room that I shared with Emily. There was even enough room in the garden for me to kick a ball around. First we explored the high street. were beautiful, sand as far as you could see. We 
we got off the beach, we found this awesome playground. back we found this really cool garden. Can you find the ape? Can you see the horse? Aren't these churches beautiful? We couldn't wait to get in the waffle shop. My waffle had biscuit spread on it. I had a chocolate waffle. It was so good and chocolatey. You can stand right under the pier and watch the waves. It's really cool. I really like the Klaxi on sea. I hope we come again. It was a bit of a windy day when we went to Frinton. But some people were making good use of the wind. There was sandy beach all around. We've never seen so many beach huts. This is the smallest complete church in Essex. The best bit of Frenton was the sweet shop. We bought lots of sweets, but not any bogeys. <laughs> 